Today I will capture the planet Venus with my 8 inch dog, my ship smartphone, no tracking, and then I will use my ZWO224 without tracking also. And at the end we will compare the results for you to see how it goes. And first I've tried with a smartphone. But, I mean, look at this. A pineapple, because I was struggling to focus with a smartphone. We try with a smartphone first. And then, look at this. Too hard to get a, a quiet and stable image. Now I did it. This is the part that I will use to process because it's the stable part of the all the records. The problem here is, as you can see, the exposure. It was too much, so it is something to consider when trying imaging Venus. Did you know Venus is the second planet from the Sun and the sixth largest. Galileo was the first person to see it through a telescope. So after processing this image, it was a fail. Yeah, a lemon slice. Well, it's life, but I have to move on and I've tried with a ZWO224 and you can guess what happened, no? The same thing, a fail. Overexposure again, however, a much more stable and shaped image. Hmm, interesting. I have to try it again, I will not give up. And why is this happening with Venus? Why is it so bright? Because the clouds that surround Venus were made up of sulfuric acid and water vapor. The reflection of the sunlight in those clouds, it's what makes the planet so bright. So another day, another attempt, and uh, it was a, an issue again with the smartphone. Too bright, uh, my smartphone has not the capability to, to reduce uh, too much the, the exposure in a level that allow to to image this planet but if you only use your smartphone and you have a, a good and expensive smartphone like an iPhone uh, last models and you can try to do it with it but for me it's clear that my my smartphone does, it's not good for this planet and, uh, and also for other objects, I really prefer to use uh, and I think it's a good investment to buy um, an Astro camera from the ZWO224 that I'm using to the 294 needs the best for me, a bit more expensive but worth the money. But if you want just to to do some images with some quality, not only planets, but DSOs. Uh, it's worth it to invest in a ZWO now that you, you will have uh, the Black Friday season and the Christmas. It's a nice time to think in that investment. So the image of the smartphone was awful again. And I finally try with my ZWO224. Please subscribe and give it a like! Of course, subscribe if you want to receive every Friday one new video about uh, stuff around astronomy and telescopes, especially the Dobsonia. I lower a lot the exposure in order to have this image without being blown up by the brightness of the planet. And you can see that uh, it's working fine. Without tracking, I just wait that the planet passes through all the monitor and then I stop and it's enough to have about 9000 frames or so 
to process the, the image. And this is the final image, which is, I think it's very nice and a good result with the 18-inch Dobsonian and the ZW0224 without tracking. So you can do this anytime during the day because Venus is good to image during the day and uh, it's a funny thing to do. And if you like the Dobsonian, I'm sure you do, you may be interested in clicking this video in the monitor to know more about this beautiful telescope.